Hello and welcome to another macro video. Today we're looking at the macro starter set which is a set of 19 macros available from my website and the idea is that these are for beginners so with the instructions that come with it uh, you should quite easily and simply be able to load up 19 macros and get them ready to use uh, by in one fell swoop. So let's go and get the macros off my website. So we need a browser and the best way to find Paul's macros is to type Paul macros and here we go. So that's my website there so click on that and we're on the free macros page that's good so look down beginners start here the starter pack there we go the starter set same difference so if we click on that and download it and we can copy that to the desktop there and move the browser out of the way okay let's have a look what we've got in the starter pack so there's a set of files word files there the, the first one is the uh, introduction, the instructions, starter macro intro and the last one, the starter macros, that's the actual text of the macros which we're going to load in in a minute. So let's start with instructions in the introduction. It's come off the internet and so Word is saying do you really want to um, play around with this file and we say yes that's fine we know where it came from, it's quite safe. So let's move that out of the way let's have a look at these instructions give ourselves a bit of room to work on them and to be able to read them. Right, so what have we got? Uh, the installation instructions, a set of those. Then below those we've got a list of the macros available. Uh, each has got a keystroke assigned to it, or it will have when we've run the instructions through. And uh, the only thing to note there is that some of them are used, some of the cursor key ones may well be used on some computers for rotating the screen so you may need to reallocate them later but that's uh, there are instructions for, to do that further down. So then to actually try them out once we've loaded them we've got a bit of a, a very simple instructions here which will allow you to at least uh, play with them as it were um, and see how they basically work but for more detailed instructions you either need to go to my book or in the start pack itself there is full macro instructions so for these particular macros the instructions are in the starter set uh, and then below that we have got the just a bit about reassigning the keys if you need to uh, in the case of difficulty and generally speaking if you have problems then do contact me so let's start on and see how we get on with the instructions. So open the file, the starter macros in Word, that's down here. Starter macros, up she comes. Uh, enable editing, yes, because we're okay with this file. We know it's uh, perfectly safe to use it. So let's move that down a bit so we can got more space. So next instruction is to uh, click Control A. Uh, so c click Control A to select all and Control C to copy it and then go back to the instructions. Uh, Alt F8 is the next instruction to use uh, or Option 8 on a Mac. Um, uh, it's worth noting that on some laptops the function keys to get the function keys, the F keys, you do actually need to press Fn as well, the Fn key. Okay so let's try Alt F8 and we've got some uh, macros listed there. So this instruction says if you cannot see the in the uh, listed any of the listed macros, then jump to instruction 4A. We can see them, so we don't need to go to th uh, 4A. So let's have a look at 3A and B. There we go. So Alt F8. We've got some macros. That's okay. So it says check the list of macros available below and see if any of those 19 macros are already in the computer. The point is that um, you've got multi-switch there in that list and if you load in the 19 macros you'll then end up with two copies of multi-switch which uh, is not okay, which the word can't cope with two macros of the same name. So we click on that multi-switch and we click delete 
do we want to delete it yes so we're now okay we've got rid of that so in the macros window click the name of one of the macros anyone will do and click edit this is just so that we can open up the uh, visual basic window click control end which moves you down to the bottom of the file and control enter just to make a bit of space at the bottom not entirely necessary and then uh, control V and we get a load of macros pasted in there and if you click on that uh, arrow down arrow there you can see you've got the macros in I'm going to stop at this stage and then go back so that we can go back to instruction 2 and see what will happen if you don't have any macros in there so let's go back to instruction 2 and it says if you cannot see any macros go to instruction 4 so let's go to instruction 4 here we go so uh, alt F8 and we have not got any macros in there so we've got to follow these instructions instead in the macro name type dummy any word will do it doesn't matter it's just to create an, a dummy macro there we go which just is a way of uh, jumping us into the visual basic window then 4b says uh, click control a to select the whole lot control a and then delete to get rid of them and then we can paste in the macros as instructed there we go and then we're on to instruction 5 which is where we were when we did it the other way so there's the uh, macros there and we're ready to um, use them so what does it say next it says uh, click alt Q or you can close it with the icon there uh, to close visual basic here we go uh, now cl uh, click alt F8 again and then select the add keys macro while well, it's already selected then click run there we go and it says 19 shortcut keys have been programmed so that's it we've got the 19 keys and we if we want to run any of the macros we can easily do so so if we want say to run dockerize then we can use control alt D and it will say do you want to analyze this document and we can analyze this document and there it is it's done it's dockerized so you actually run one of the uh, 19 macros there well that's it I've got to the end of the demonstration and I hope you find it useful